Hey guys, uh, today we are going to talk about hacking the WPA Enterprise uh, using host APD Manor. Now I've already done an article on this uh, on medium.com. Uh, I will post the link in there. It is a step-by-step -step guide, so you're more than welcome to, to read it if you like. Um, so I'm just going to be using this as uh, my step-by-step -step guide as well. But let's do a tutorial so you can see how it's actually done. As per usual, we are going to start with our IW uh, config to see what wireless uh, interfaces we have available to us. And as you can see here, zero and one available to us. Cool. Let's get uh, WLAN zero started. Arrow on NG. And no doubt it will say it won't do it. It wants to do it another way, and it has. Perfect. WLAN O. Down I W Dev W Lano set monitor on F config W Lano up perfect. Now let's run arrow dump, let's see what's going on around us. Um Let's get a sip of water. Okay, perfect. So we've got something here. Uh, we can see the auth is MGT, which is um, Enterprise Management. We've got the ESSID available to us. Um, and we can see it's on channel 6. So let's put all our focus on channel 6 for now. Uh, C6. And let's leave that running, right? Let's leave that running. We can see here uh, that's, that there's a probe for it. So what we want to do is we want to we want to deauth the client that's connected to the um, I'm going to call it the original um, uh, ESSID. There we want to create an evil twin, right? And to do that, we're going to use host APD. Um, I will put a link for this, by the way, in the description. Um, so this is this is the site we're going to be using. Uh, it is a fantastic site. It is step by step guide. So if anything you need, it is on here and it, and it is explained as well. Right. So okay, cool. We've now so we've got up to this stage here. Do, do, do. Right. We're going to create a host.conf file. Right. So nano. Oh. Horse.conf. Let's see what we're going to stick in there. I've already entered all the information here, so feel free uh, to copy and paste it. I've myself have taken it from um, here, which again I'm going to put the link in for anyway. And this edit is required. This doesn't require any uh, editing. Uh, that's already running. Cool. Let's go down here. Let's copy and paste that because for for the APPS key you need additional information. And as as, as mentioned in this medium article, um, you'll see why. Let's stick that in there. Anything else missing? Yes. One of the things you're going to need to edit is make sure you've got the full path to where your certs are kept. Now this is assuming you've got your certs, certificates, and everything. Otherwise, it is a bit more of a, 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 a not a, well, more say long, a bit longerish. Uh, process of creating the certificates, which I will do a separate video on. This is just a, like a quick way of showing it. If everything's set up, you've got the search there on how to do it. So let's just stick in the path. I know what you're all thinking. I should have just copied and pasted, but it seems I'm a sucker for punishment. Which, if you've seen any of my previous videos, is quite evident brilliant now as per the article and as per um, the uh, page of host apd manner we need to create a host uh, apd dot eap underscore user file <clears throat> so let's get on with that nano host apd dot eap user file and what information do we need to stick in there? This here. And again, this is available from the uh, GitHub page. If you scroll to the bottom, here we go. 
Let's just stick that in there. Perfect. I'm happy with that. Brilliant. Now let's start the network, right? Start the network. We're going to do host APD manner, the name of the conf file, which in this case was uh, host.conf. And if it runs in one go, which I'd be very happy if it does, fantastic. We come up with error. We've got to read the error and see what the issue could be. Right. Okay. Perfect. It says AP enable. So we've done everything right. Which is great. Now the next step is to deauthenticate the client. Now we want to deauthenticate de the client because we want it to connect to us. We want to get them credentials. We want to use them. All right. So let's run the deauth attack. Uh, replay. Um, let's do dash. Is it dash? Is it dash H? No, it's not. I'll tell you what the first thing is. It's a uh, replay dot dash ng, which for some reason I've got a bad habit of forgetting. And again, it's a dash dash help. Perfect. So we want to do a auth attack. So just using dash o will, as per that, in my medium article, I've just used 100. So that's great. We'll stick with the same number. Do, do, do. Uh, replay. NG, I mustn't forget that. Dash o will move for account for 100. Um, we need to stick in the ESSID. Uh, so here the BSID for the set access MAC address, which we have right here, which is the original one. Uh, just to let you know, you will notice when you when you run the host APD uh, the the network uh, the com file you've noticed that there's an extra ESSID, which is exactly the same as that one, but you'll notice only one of them is the original one, which is here. That was the whole point of running that network. That's whatever your, your, that's your evil twin. That's the evil twin you've created to mimic the original network. And that's right here, which is showing here. So let's take this, uh, the BS, uh, I, BSSID of the original, which is really important. And let's, Put that there, WLAN O again, which is important. We mustn't forget that. There we go. Got a nice little error message. Couldn't determine current channel for WLAN O. You should either force the operation or ignore the negative one. I'm wondering what the negative one is. Now, if you go back to here, you look at the top here, you can see that negative one. So what we're going to do is we, we, we're going to keep getting this error. So let's just do ignore negative one. So this can run. Perfect, to send in the DAUTH packet to the client. And if we go back to here, there we go, we send a DAUTH. Look, we're going, but if we go back to where our host APD MANA conf file is running from, we're going to get the information we came for, which is the credentials. So the client got disconnected. They had to reconnect, but they connected to our network. Now, normally, what you want to do is when you're doing something like this, you want to be, you, you want to have the strongest um, power. That's basically, so the, the lower the number, right? And I mentioned this one of the videos, the better your signal strength is. And that means you're more likely to, uh, the client is more likely to connect to you, right? And that's exactly what's happened. This client got de-authenticated, the auth packet sent, uh, they've been disconnected, from the original network and now they've had to connect two hours and we've been waiting for them to connect they've connected and we've got their credentials um i want to thank you for your time today i will put the links into the description so you guys can have a read as well but thank you very much for your time everyone have a nice day